Three Minute Egg's coverage of the visual arts is supported by Wet Paint, an independent art supply store since 1976, serving Twin Cities artists and the world beyond. Learn more at wetpaintart.com. Rachel Breen grew up in a Jewish household steeped in social activism, and she didn't come into her artistic life until her 40s. She got her MFA at the U, and she's now on the art faculty at Anoka Ramsey Community College, and this is her first solo show. It's at Conduit Gallery in the office of Dr. Sam. It's an installation called Seven Meals, where Rachel is giving life to her emotional responses of the path from civilization to anarchy through poverty and hunger. We're going to visit Rachel in her studio. She's creating the work and then go to the opening reception on this edition of 3-Minute Ag. For a long time I thought about art as a hobby, and I didn't really see it as something that I could have be front and center in my life. And when I was in college I used to say, um, after the revolution I'll be an artist. A lot of organizing is fighting, and it's good fighting, but it's still... Um, fighting and, and and some of what's that I missed it, it wasn't as creative as I wanted my work to be and then it was also I guess coming to a place of realizing how important art is to life and 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 sustaining life and culture and part of that was living in China and seeing how important uh, the work of paper cuts from women who had never been to school in their lives was in terms of giving them a chance to express themselves and communicate about their daily life and I was really moved by that. The first project that I worked on when I was in, in school was about hunger and I had drawings of starving children up all over my studio and I remember the first critique I did with my grad, with fellow graduate students, people who came in and um, really didn't like what I was doing because my work was too literal, because I was too focused on trying to get a message across and not thinking about how to use work to convey a message in a more conceptual way. I had to really learn that. I don't think of this work as being so abstract because the process of how it's made for me has, is full of so much meaning. So it's very process oriented. The work is so much about how it's made. It's very temporary, which is something that I like about it. This will all be gone. When the show's over, it just gets painted over. The paper is about the, um, me destroying something through the act of trying to repair something. So it's, a, it's very much about uh, creating a contradiction in my work and using a sewing machine, which is the symbol of repair, also this tool that is only really works when it, when it is at the disposal of human hands. One of the things about having my work be so minimal, it's just black and white, um, it's so basic, the, the possibility of where it can go is endless because you know I, make, I just shift a mark and all of a sudden something new is possible and the repeating of patterns is infinite. So I, I've, I've just barely tapped the surface of what, what, where it can go.